I'm Dove, living in the middle of nowhere, and today I have this. Okay, so this is the gearing for, well, the wind to crank generator. Okay, so <laughs> I've already cut my hand doing this, so that's your big gear. That's a 72 teeth, and this is another little 12er. Okay, very simple to see, and I cut that off right here. This is the remainder of the the quarter inch, yeah, quarter inch shaft, not a three eighths, or it might be three eighths. What is this? Uh, no, it says wear safety goggles. Yay, Princess Auto shit. Yeah, also wear safety gloves and put a guard on your your grinder. That's what happens when a zip disc is it, it cut right in. Okay, so that's this setup. Now, this is that old one that I had. Well, I got a mini lathe that came in. I'm just waiting for the metal gears to come in, but then I'm gonna take off the backside here. Okay, so all this will get taken off. Just bring it down, and that way the chain can ride on it. This is not gonna go here, okay? This here is actually gonna go like right under. So my plan, and you've seen how those angle iron I flip them on the inside ways because I want to protect. Okay, so you can see how I have these upwards now. So these gears are going to literally go in there like this. I'm really hoping you can see that. Just trying to line it up. And that there is pretty lined vertical. And it only needs to be so far away. Like I can go right here. If you really want to, I could go really close, but I don't feel like it. So I figure that's about one inch gear from the top plate. I just have it in there and then I'm gonna center it. Now, that's the one thing with these. These have oval uh, holes. Loud. <laughs> you can hear the ringing. And that allows me to move the bearing one way or another. And the 12 and that 72, this here, the 12 and the 72, those are on the same shaft, so they will move at the same thing. They're just, they're, they're tightened down with these little uh, set screw things, not welded in. This, I'm not moving, because I have that in the perfect position, same with this. So this bearing and this, this here will come off, and then I'm going to weld that perfectly when it's, when it's laying like that. And that's what's going to happen. This one, I'm probably going to have to weld it similar to the other. But the thing is, it's if I do a tack weld here like that, I could be able to get away with it. But I don't like that. That is because this here, that I know is vertical. This here could have an angle of discrepancy. Like all it takes is a tiny bit, and it's it's a wobbling piece of crap. I don't need some a gear that goes like that. So this one will also have to be, oh my god, taken down with the lathe as well, step down. So I can't even weld that one yet. So this is pretty much a planning. Now, okay, given you know that that is going to be underneath, these are going to flip over and the bearing is going to be bolted upwards and then that's going to bolt these down to that. This gear, same as the other one, so this gear is going to be right about here and it's going to connect to that 12. It's, it's going to be far enough back that it will miss that and everything else. And then the, a shaft Put this down. This shaft here will come out along this. It'll go through that. It'll be a bearing on either side, and then I'll have it come out probably about there. Okay, that is going to be to allow me to a put a anything on it I really want to. I could have a, a little shaft that's got U joints or a crank, and over on this side, you see, I have that other gear that's over there. 
well, the gear is right here, but that little shaft. Now, I'm going to switch that shaft back out to the smaller one. It needs to be like the 12, but it's the 15er. This is the replacement that I was supposed to do for this one, but I'm going to use this one for something else. I might actually swap that out completely, that and that, and go get, obviously, the smaller shaft, but I'm going to get a bike air diameter, so this here, because it's, it's so small, it fits around. I'm going to go with something that, there we go, is big enough that you won't have to, how would I say it, use the lathe, or sorry, I wouldn't have to lathe the down, and then that's exactly what you'd be looking at. I could weld it on the one side, don't have to do a power weld, but I want a bigger gearing. And I can run that to a chain, say, an exercise bike. And then it just, a chain goes to there, to the back of the exercise bike, which is, could be on like that, another gear, a one-to-one. -one. Because I don't need to do any more reduction with all this gearing. And I run it by pedal power. Crank power. But also, this could be where the wind is. I think that might not work, though, if I have the wind on that small of a shaft. I'll make sure I have enough that maybe the wind here... you got to think about this. If this goes up on anywhere, I'm going to have it on a platform that's up like this pretty much high. And then it's going to be a drop-off from a fence. Okay? Or a wall of something. Obviously, that the fan blades can turn. It's going to require a lot of force. So, like a diverter of a big plate, uh, a big sheet metal plate. What, you want to come down, Saf? Come on. See the big whiny dog. Yes. Yes, it stinks down here because I just did some more painting on that. It needed another coat, right? Sit. Okay. Anyways, thanks, staff. <laughs> That's what the most cycle process is going to be. Have a fan that can be the wind generator. Or I do it by pulley. So that's going to be the thing. Is This here, like a setup here, this is going to be down on the bottom. But I don't think these bearings are going to be this close together. Now, I... I Guarantee I'll have, because I want to have this one and this one bearing separate. So this one, big one, is going to be right here, and then the other one is going to be here. So I've got to make mounts for that there, down below. Probably tack onto here, if I can, weld into there, and just, you got to think about it. It's not going to be just laying on the, on the bottom, because the blade would hit, or the gear would hit. So I've got to I'll have it up at the right height, everything, and oh my god. This is the joys of machinery and engineering. So here's where we stand. Okay, so it's bolted in, and it's like, it ain't moving. So that ain't going. This is not bolted in completely, like tight, tight, tight. I get in torque down, just finger tight. Okay, so you can see how the tooth is down over there. So you see that, there's where the gear goes there done and I have this gear like this is just where where it's at <laughs> because I only have this angle iron left like literally this is a tiny piece of shit I need to get some more of this stuff so I need another eight foot section go to Prince Subtle pick it up I'm just gonna rest this here these are not gonna go flat like that they're gonna here, I'll switch hands be up like this up against this wall and and if I wanted to, because I have this like random crank here, just say it's on like as if, and then I just turn it and that turns the gear. But I would have to turn this at 150 revolutions per minute. So, two point two and a quarter revolutions per second, which is pretty simple because that's pretty much what we can get on main lube oil with the old frigates um, that's in the Navy stuff 
or I could put the fan here now. And I have space here left over for the other gear that's going to come out this way. So I am uh, having it many different ways optional. And all I do is I just take the bearing off and take the gear out of the way. Or I loosen the chain off a bit from the other side. Yeah, I don't ever want to take this apart again. It would be more of taking the gear off from the bike or whatever it's pedal power. I could even probably go of uh, gear reduction again, but we'll see what that has to do. That's where I'm going to leave it at for this time. I'm not going any farther because I can't really go any farther. Very simple. I'll just drill press in my garage and get that. I will weld all this stuff up. That'll be for next time. It's just a matter of putting it here. I could... Here, I'll just give you a mock-up of this for now. This could go right here, and the bearing would go on the other side. If it was wider, then it wouldn't be so bad right there. Or I weld it to the bottom of this, and then just bolt into this. Because I could have that bolted there. It doesn't matter if it's on an angle. For me, I don't really care. The only thing is i got to be careful with is that. You see this, this will hit. So that's why it has to be on this way. Cover the bolt. I can weld a washer to the bottom of that. Those ringing is real loud. Yeah. Put the bearings there. Just have it bolted that way. That's what I'm looking at for now. But that's me. I'm Duff. That's the wind generator. That's the gearing. Okay. That one guy that wanted to know about it, that's what you got right there. So it, it's pretty simple. Like, subscribe, lot. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And I guess Saf over there is a. Here, let's zoom in on that little bugger. Not too happy. Do you want to go upstairs? Yeah. So have a good one.